Welcome back. We are having our second conversation for the morning and this is quite an interesting one. This morning, Paul and I will be learning pattern making classes with Mikado and we have a professional here with us. His name is Frank Lutterlow and he is the president of Fashion Unlimited. This is a partnership with Mikado, as I understand, for many years. Uh, Frank has been coming to Belize and teaching these classes at Mikado for free. And this morning, we're going to give you an opportunity to know why he's been doing it and how you can get involved if you are interested. Frank, good morning. Welcome. Good morning. Thank you Sabrina. so much for stopping by. This is your first time here yes, with us at Open is, Your Eyes. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you very much for having me. Yes. Sabrina and Paul. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get started. Before we <coughs> even get into some of the pattern making itself, I want a brief introduction of who you are, Frank. Mm -hmm. As I understand, uh, you are from Germany, uh, but uh, Fashion Unlimited is a United States brand. Mm -hmm. Let's talk a bit about your background. Um, well, it originates from Germany. My grandmother and invented this unique pattern drafting system in 1935 in uh, Germany and uh, I founded my company in 1998 mm -hmm. in the United States in Florida called Fashion Unlimited and we are the distributors and, uh, uh, in the United States and Belize and the Caribbean mm -hmm. for <coughs> this uh, pattern making system and we teach the free classes all over the islands, we do it in America and uh, also on the internet. Before we even get into <coughs> what uh, your pattern making system involves, I want to ask uh, where did your interest in Belize come from? Because as you mentioned, uh, you, your focus is the Americas as mm -hmm. well as Belize and a bit of the Caribbean too. But let's yes. talk specifically about Belize. Well, Belize, first of all, it's a country where English is spoken and I can teach this by myself, although I also speak some Spanish. Yes but not as good as English and we had a very good um, and still have a very good uh, business um, relationship with Mexico mm -hmm. where we have a distributor now in the second generation for mm -hmm. over 50 years mm -hmm. and it's uh, the product our product is uh, very well recognized and there's a big demand there and also in Belize I noticed there's a lot of sewing going on yeah it is and uh, I met Mr. Umesh Mahatmi and uh, he invited me to come to his stores and um, it was very successful so we have been doing this um, now for the third time, actually, myself personally. Mm -hmm. I'm interested in understanding uh, what pattern making is. I don't think I've ever picked up a needle, thread, cloth, or anything like that yeah. to even think up a creation or a design. So when we speak of pattern mm -hmm. making, what are we speaking of? That's a good question, Paul. Pattern making is something for mainly for people who know how to sew. Okay. So you have to have some basic sewing knowledge and that this pattern making helps you a lot to get your clothes to fit. Mm. Because there are certain patterns available for purchase in the stores which are commercial size patterns. Mm -hmm. But there are so many people who do not have a commercial size. So yeah. they, won't, <laughs> they won't bother starting to sew yeah. and buying fabric and cutting the fabric if it doesn't fit at the end. Yeah. Yeah. But this system, and I, like I said, my grandmother invented this almost 90 years ago. <clears throat> it works with measurements. You take two of your body measurements only. And then you have miniature pattern designs. And mm -hmm. I can show you this if you like yeah, real quick to enlarge them to your personal measurements. For instance, if somebody wants to make a vest coat, mm -hmm. right, like here, and um, he has a pattern design for a front and a back part. So these are the designs we work off. And then you take your pattern design and you tape it with some scotch tape on a sheet of paper. And like I said, you only need two body measurements. And if you, Sabrina, would be so kind to yeah. volunteer, yeah, definitely. I would be happy to make this for you. So I tape it on the sheet of paper right here. Okay. And if you lift your arms, please. I have a metric tape here. The system works in metric, but there's nothing to worry about. I know here in Belize, you, you're used to the inches. Please the take inches, down your yeah, arms. Yards, yes. And that is 110. It's only a number. Nothing yeah. you do have to calculate with. And the hip measurement, I also take that over the fullest parts. That's 112. Okay. So these are the two very important measurements, bust 110 and the hip measurement 112. There's not much of a difference for you, Sabrina, but sometimes there's a big difference. Uh -huh. Could be the same, the person who has the same bust measurement, but a hip measurement of 128, for instance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they can make their own custom fit patterns. The most important part and the most important tool, actually, that we need is the sizing scale. Okay. That is attached to an ordinary metric tape measure. Uh -huh. And there are two sets of numbers on that scale. Right here on the left-hand side, we have black numbers from 0 to 8. These are just the centimeter units that are continued here in the yellow part, and they are right now not so important. Okay. The very important numbers is the other set of numbers on the right-hand side. 
There are numbers ranging from 50 in red up to the black 140. Yeah. Yes. Red and black always changing, red and black. These numbers represent the bust and the hip measurement. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Your bust measurement can be red or black. Let's find yours. It's 110. It's a red number. Had I measured for your bust measurement 116, for instance, it would have been a black, black number. number. So mm -hmm. the bust and the hip measurement can be both red or black. Now to that number 110, there's an arrow, a little red arrow. And right here on the line of that arrow, you will find a perforated hole where this pushpin Ooh. fits through perfectly. There you go. And now I have fixed your bust measurement in that sizing scale. Inside of the pattern design, each of our pattern designs have a cross. I put it right here in the center now of the cross. The pin with your, with your bust measurement of 110, it goes directly in the center of the cross. And this allows me now to easily and freely rotate my measuring tape around the entire pattern design. Oh, wow. So you get the exact measurement that you'd need if I was creating. Yes. If, if a seamstress was making a vest for me. Correct. And there are other designs available. Not only this vest, you can make shorts, you can make blouses, you can make a wedding dress even. Oh. From the basing rope to that yes. dress, we have designs like that. The important part is that you always keep the bust measurement in the cross for everything above the waistline. Mm -hmm. And then later below the waistline, you use your hip measurement. But let's get started now yes. with this dot that is located on the waistline. You see that dashed line is the waistline? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I bring my scale to that line right here. I hold it right on that line. Make sure I pull my tape measure nice and straight. And the number on that line, 18, tells me now where to make a dot next to the tape measure, right here at the number 18. This is Where how this do you works. See the 18. It's on this. It's this uh, the number yes, on that line. Yes, there you there you see it. And I go to the next line. I line it up, 18, and I make a dot at 18. So all you do is you read numbers and make dots. 15. Always make the dot on the same side of the tape measure where the pin is and where the number is. Is this meant to 19. make the process so simple and simplify the process? Oh, absolutely. 35. Yeah. It doesn't get any easier than this. I, I, I 36. can tell. <laughs> and it's made to measure. That's the main part. 37.5. It's very accurate. It works with half metric units too. 37 and a half. Yes. 11 here. We have the dot even inside for the dot for the dart, right? Just line up, make a dot. You see, you get it where it belongs for the dart later. Then 19 and a half and 19. And now here's the very important part, what I said earlier. When you use the system on anything, make sure you make the dots that are located on the waistline, like this dot 18 I started with, and above with your bust measurement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Below the waistline, make sure you use your hip measurement. Mm -hmm. Now for you, it's not much of a difference. But like I said, there could be people with a lot of difference between bust and hips, and then they get their accurate fit. Now I switch from 110 to your hip measurement, 112. You see it's right here, just a little bit above the 110. Yes. Insert the pin, return to the same center of the cross, and now the system works for your personal hip measurement, and I can make the remaining three dots below the waistline. At now you're all, always going to dot at the numbers indicated here, but it's going to the it's going to change based on how you put the pin. Exactly. Correct. Exactly. Another person, much slimmer person, or much more much. Uh, a person with more measurement than Sabrina would use the exact same pattern yeah, template, yes. but the pin would be in a different, different position, position, and that would give us a different pattern. Right. Wow. Yes. I, what I really appreciate about this, uh, uh, Frank, is the accuracy that it that it provides. I know, I know. You know, there's a lot of times you go and you take your measurements, and uh, maybe there is a portion uh, that is correct, but the bus is just not fitting the way that it's supposed to. Mm. Right. Um, I want to ask you. Uh, uh, for, for yourself, and, and as you mentioned, this is something that came from your grandmother. How did you guys realize that there is a system that you can create uh, to ensure accuracy every time? Well, actually, she discovered that she had problems. She was a young lady, but she was a very full-figure person. She was a very tall person. And she came up with this idea to figure out how to calculate the cross and put it in the right spot into the pattern design so it works. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this has been kept a family secret ever since. Nobody knows how this works. This is kept in our family. And we provide our customers with these pattern designs. Every three months we have a new collection. Wow. Spring, summer, fall and winter for children, for men. And nobody else knows how this does. There's no competition. But you know how it is well, works. Well, yeah, <laughs> kind of. My brother, actually, he's the one who does these patterns is with it? his yes. wife. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, so why, why are you deciding to share this secret now? It's not, it's not shared. Yeah. It's just we prepare everything. Yeah. It's still the secret. But yes. we prepare That's everything it. so the people can take advantage of it and use it right. and to, their, to their success. There is a method to creating the pattern mm -hmm. and to creating exactly this formula. Right. Yes. Right? And the formula is a secret. But right. I'm here looking at what you're doing and I'm thinking, ma'am, this is so easy. It's so simplified. 
I feel like I could do something. I know, like I, I feel like I could right? do something. Without any sort of experience. Yes, but you know how to sew. You have to right. know how to sew. Okay, you have to know how to sew. Yeah. That's where that's where the train would run off the tracks for me. But in terms <laughs> of in terms of doing the measurements, I could see now, now tell us a bit about the classes that you host at Mikado. Yeah, we have, I'm doing these classes actually today, tomorrow and on Saturday. We had classes yesterday, very well attended because we had advertised on social media also. And there were many, many people that attended our classes, but there's still opportunity today mm -hmm. at 10.30 okay. a.m. at noon or at 4 p.m. It's mm -hmm. always the same class. You just have to come to one of these classes. Each class is around maybe 40 minutes to uh -huh. 45 minutes. Okay. In, in length and then on Saturday we only have two classes at 10:30 uh, and at noon and, and as you mentioned this is free it's for a free class who, absolutely uh, know how to sew this will be an excellent uh, uh, means of information definitely to use. and everybody who comes to the class will receive that folder that has a, a vest pattern inside and the shorts and a shirt pattern they go can oh. go home with us so they'll got they get, get this. this for free, yes. mm -hmm. and they have the sizing scale right here, so they can make that for themselves or anybody in their families. A tool like this, would you be able to provide something like this at a cost? Um, because we I would offer imagine a complete, we offer a complete kit. I show you this now, but okay. first I want to show you the best part about the system, and that is how these patterns fit. Look at this now. Put one finger right here, Sabrina. And put your left arm a little bit. Turn it, turn around. You see that? Um, and there is no adjustment necessary. Let's oh, go a little nice. bit to the right, that so then can we like this one? Wow, should, that. You should actually make the next side and have her wear that yeah. for the rest of the day. <laughs> well, thank oh you. my gosh, that is so cool. Absolutely, and everything else you can make now with the system. There's sometimes a length adjustment necessary. If yeah. two people have the same bust and hip uh -huh. measurement, but not the same height, it can be done very easily. I explained it also in the class. But then once you understand the system, you can do anything with it. You got a kit here with a tape measure that has a scale attached to it, a pen. There are two pins in there and uh, scotch tape. And then everything explained again step by step what I just showed you here. We also have, of course, very good instructions on the internet on our web page, how to take the bust and the hip measurement, where you put your pattern design, all these step by step instructions. Even some sewing hints are included in this kit. And then the main part, of course, are the uh, designs and what you can make with this. Yeah. And in this kit, we have a variety of 280 different fashions that all have the pre-calculated pattern designs on the back. Wow. From the bathing robe to the wedding dress, slacks, skirts, dresses, casual wear, sportswear, traditional clothes, elegant styles. And if you find something that you want to make, you simply open it, take out that page. On the back side, there's your pattern design. You can put it on your paper. You can even copy that first, so this always stays nice. And when you're through, you put it back and keep it next to your sewing machine. I just admire how, how well you know all this. Yes, <laughs> this is like, I mean. That's what I've been doing my yeah. lifetime. Yeah, it, it comes uh, so quickly and naturally from mm. you. I can tell that this has been your life's passion. Absolutely. Uh, for me, what's so interesting is that it's uh, it's generational almost. Yes. So it's, it's fair to say. It's the third generation now and our children, we are four siblings. We are all involved in this company, my sister and my two brothers. And then we also have children and also we can see an interest there. So we hope we can give this on to the next generation. For for our, for us non or seamstress, uh, what is, or let's say, let me not put it like that. How greater of a challenge is the alternative way of doing this, or, or, or of creating patterns? Uh, the alternative way is you go and uh, you learn this from scratch and you work with 23 measurements. You have to spend a lot of money, a lot of time, and you have to keep that going because you have to work with formulas mm -hmm. to create a pattern from scratch. Mm -hmm. That's the alternative way. And if you don't do this continuously, you lose the knowledge. Mm -hmm. This is something you can pick up after years. You can put it in the shelf and say, all right, my, uh, my kids are big now. They're grown up, and now I have time for myself. Mm -hmm. I want to do this again. Yeah. And you pull it out, you read a quick instruction again or watch a short video and you know again how it works, you can do it again. But I think uh, what's also important to mention here is not only the, the efficiency of it, uh, the accuracy that comes with it, but I believe it, it offers uh, seamstresses a, a, a bit of a shortness on time absolutely. when it comes to creating efficiency. Absolutely. Their, and many their professionals, they recognize this. Yeah. I have many professionals that come to my class, they read the advertising, learn pattern making in minutes, 
they come with a smile, they think it's impossible, what, yeah, uh, what yeah. is he telling yeah. us, it's, it's not possible, yeah. I studied for this for years, yeah. and then after this class, I agree, it's unbelievable, it's yeah. true. And as you it mentioned, saves a lot of time. as you mentioned in your introduction, Belize is known uh, to have a lot of uh, persons that sew their, their clothing, mm -hmm. especially for schools, that is uh, uh, what I call the high season for mm -hmm. seamstresses, where you'd see a lot of them uh, taking orders from families and students uh, who need to get their uniforms for school ready. Absolutely. So this is something I imagine that they could implement and, and really get out their orders much and quicker. It's interesting that you mentioned that because last year I was in Trinidad mm -hmm. and I did this for three days only. We had 600 people in three days. We had to add additional classes in between the ones that were scheduled. Mm -hmm. yeah. And on the last day, the Prime Minister joined that class because they saw the huge interest. Interesting. And we had a Women's International Women's Day. There were 50 people in this class. And uh, she donated from the government to uh, each of the participants one of our pattern making systems wow. for free. Oh, wow. So and one it went through the news and it's, uh, you can still see that on YouTube. It's, it was very successful. One of the things about fashion is it's seasonal and it changes over time. Yeah. Uh, the, how do you accommodate that? Like I said, every three months we come up with new collections. Yes. This is, for instance, a supplement with 40 styles. You can mm -hmm. later see that on the internet. If you like something, you can order it. Uh, you can subscribe to those, so you get them shipped to your home yeah. as soon as they are published. And then we also have additional children's and men's collections available, if you are interested in those. Yes, like that's if you what want I was to going start to ask There's next. a men's yeah. collection. Yeah. And then we have one for children because as well. Because the things that you were showing, the, the, the models, they're primarily women. So uh, I needed to ask if there's something for the men as well. Yes, correct. This is the men's supplement. We have another one also available and also in the kit. There are a few for men and children, maybe five or six, not more. But okay. then we have these uh, special editions in addition. Well, Frank, thank you so much. This is uh, a lot of really helpful information. Yeah. I want to remind our viewers, especially the ones who understand the sewing machine, uh, when and where uh, that uh, class will be taking place today. Okay, can I give a quick hint to the yeah. ladies who already work with other patterns, for instance, how to transfer a dart, Go because right it's ahead. a very easy technique. Mm -hmm. Let's yeah. say you want the best pattern with a side dart, yeah. you pick out any spot of your pattern that you like to have the dart coming from, let's say right here, and then you draw a line from that dart to the bust point, so this should be the new dart. Mm -hmm. You cut that line with your scissors, and you can do this on any other pattern too, it doesn't have to be a pattern from our system. Mm -hmm. What do you but call it, a dart? To transfer the dart, like from, from the shoulder dart goes uh -huh. now to the side. Ah. Once, you, once you close this now, it opens automatically up to the side and you get the side dart that you like. You see, now you have the pattern with the side dart, and the yeah. ladies who know to work with patterns, they understand this, okay. this side dart. But the important part is when you do this, make sure you do it in the paper and not in the fabric. Ah, because you could, oh. yeah, yeah, the fabric will be more, way more expensive. Right. And, and Sabrina, I could see this 100% working for entrepreneurs, young entrepreneurs mm -hmm. that are up and coming in the fashion world and really trying to make a name for themselves or even just to make an extra buck. So we thank you so much. My for pleasure, being Paul on and Sabrina. It was really nice to be on your program. Yes, thank you so much for stopping by and please return again. We'd love to hear uh, further developments with your company. Um, obviously, a huge congratulations. This is a generational uh, uh, a wealth that you are uh, representing here. And I know that a lot of people here in Belize will really benefit from the information that you have just provided. I think so too. Thank you, Sabrina. Yes, all right. Well, we got to take another quick break, and when we come back, it's from Sewing with Patterns to the Defenders versus the Dan Grigga Ballers. We'll have the Defenders here on set after the break, so stay with us. We will be right back.